All right, Will from UTV Outlaws. Today we're going to be working on this machine. So this is my dad's machine. So we got a couple add-ons here that we're going to do to it. What do you got, Tim? We got nice wheel bearing greaser. Nice. Let's These are the double shear brackets. Okay. And these go back here. Yeah, you care to explain that? Yeah. So on these talons, it doesn't, you know, on like a, a razor, it goes between two pieces of aluminum on the, on the hub. And on this, it's just through the bolts through a piece of aluminum, through the radius rod, and then just you got a nut on the back side. This allows it to wear, uh, yeah, it goes like this. So it bolts to the caliper bracket through here, and then the end of this bolt goes right through here, and it just makes it to where it won't shear off as easy. Okay. And so that's for the reinforcement. Four of those. Yeah, the, those two and those two, and it just helps it out so. Those upper and lower? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. So that is those. Out of bubble wrap. So, we got a new filter. Nice. And gasket. We got some spline lug nuts. Okay. And some green valve cover gas or <laughs> green valve stem caps. Nice. Then we got these big boys. That's one thing on these talons is the tires they put on them from the factory are real small. What are they like, 28s maybe? Yeah, I think they might say 29s. I'm not 100% sure. I think they're 29s, but they're actually like 28s. They, they're good tires. They grip well, but they're just on the smaller side. So they look better with some 30s on them. Is that what you ended up getting? These are 31s. 31s, okay. Yeah. So we got some tusk, tusk wheels, rims. yep, bead locks. <clears throat> and these are like moto, uh, what are these? Moto claw. Okay. Uh, I think these they look are, nice. Let's see, what are these? Sidewalls they're, look like they would 31, get some good grip. 31s, 10s, 15s, and I want to say they're 8 ply. Okay. Yeah, 8 ply. Nice. So they're nice. I mean, they're knobby. Yeah. So. So yeah, it'll make the machine sit a little higher, look a little nicer. It's gonna give it a little facelift, do some maintenance. Gotcha. And uh, yeah. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jack it up, take the tires off, and uh, let's go ahead and start with the wheel bearings. Pull the brake calipers off and uh, show you guys how to grease the bearings, and then we will get to the shear brackets after that. All right, so you gotta get the caliper and bracket Leave it together, pull it out of there. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket. And wrench, ratchet wrench. <clears throat> you got a bottom bolt. And then your top one's right here. There you go, make it easy. Radius rods on the way to do that down there, but yeah. So just set that out of the way. Then you have to get your cotter key out of here. Okay. 
and it's jammed up. So you have to get a wrench and back this off a little bit to where the key can slide back out. So I went ahead and cut one ear away, broke one ear away, and then tapped it and it came out, got loose. <clears throat> and then take this off. Oh, there's angles in there. So, 30 millimeter. Okay. This is what fits good and tight. Need the big boy? Yeah, it's over here. So one you got big a, washer. Yep, one thick washer. Yep. And that's that. Yep. And it's already got a lot of grease in there. I mean, yeah, it looks better than ours did. I want to say this machine probably got three or four hundred miles on it now. Four fifty. So you get your bearing greaser. <coughs> Just move your axle until it slides in because it's at a hard bind. And you get a grease gun. Doesn't look like it's gonna take much. No, it, uh, surprisingly, it's got a lot. So. I think I noticed with these air, they don't push a whole lot out at once. No. Sounds like it's coming. Yeah. And it's all the way around, so. That's we'll leave, that. We'll leave it at that. All right, so we're going to tighten this up, cut our pin in, and uh, yeah. I would suggest uh, looking up your torque specs, but for me, I'm just going to. Just going to bring it here. Let her eat. <clears throat> this is a big gun, should do just fine. Sometimes it's easier just to put a new pin in than to try to save the old one. Because people, I've seen people try to use needle nose to get these out, it doesn't really work, but side cutters bite in and will pull it out. Sometimes you fight that, it's kind of a pain, but probably the easiest way. So this is done here. Before we put the caliper back on, we're going to, the caliper and bracket, we're gonna go ahead and start getting these double shear brackets on. And uh, that's what we're about to do now. So let me gather some tools for that. And, all right, guys, so I slid the caliper bracket back on here. It's just sitting here, it's not bolted in. <clears throat> this is a 17. I'm gonna take this nut off. You're not gonna reuse this washer. Use this bracket, I believe. Let's check that out. Yeah, see, that goes right there. And then we got some new washers that came with it right here. Put the nut back on. And then your caliper bracket bolt. Doesn't need a nut on the back side of that? No. Okay. No. Nope. And this is a stud. So like there's another nut over here, but all you're doing is just undoing this nut. The stud is tight to the spindle. So that's in. And I'm going to go ahead and snug this one down. Not tighten it up, <clears throat> and then uh, we can go ahead and I don't know if this will get back in. Or we'll find out. Looks like it. So that's just snug too as well. So now we can go ahead. Pop this off. Discard this. There you go. That is not. That is the bracket. I just have to put it on a different angle. Your caliper bracket bolt. Get that started. And your washer. 
on your nut. So tighten everything down and there and you then, go. Just snugging them down for now, I'll tighten them up. But now if you look at the top of this, you can see that both sides of this radius arm is now supported. <clears throat> Where when before it was just this one piece of the knuckle and we've seen that these are sheared off seen it online that's yeah, got support on both sides and so now it has support on both sides by tying it back into the caliper bracket bolt so i uh, thought that was a good idea we don't want to be out you know in tennessee riding around and that break and we go home because of that these are some simple cheap brackets you can do thought it was a good idea and here we are so i'm going to go ahead and tighten this up and then we'll uh, move on to the next side all right let's see bad boys got the right bolt pattern Bronco, you got the wrong bolt pattern. There went all your lug nuts. You got lucky. Never mind, he figured it out. <laughs> Thought you were ordering stuff from Winnebago.com. You can see the difference here in size. That's a big difference. Yeah, it looks These good. Nice tires. Yeah. I like the rims, too. They kind of match the the Honda kind of match the springs a little bit too. Looks like they shorted us on a lug nut, so. Oh, you found it? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're just going to um, do a time lapse on the other side and we'll have that coming up next. get this Cavalier tire off of here. We're a uh, warranty tire only. So you gotta get your caliper bracket off. Again, leave everything, you know, your caliper and your bracket attached. <clears throat> You're gonna need a 17 socket. I think you should build your bolt. You gonna be able to get both of them? I, I think so. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Milwaukee's getting dead. Yeah, she's dead. So, slide that out of your way. All right, so now that we're ready, we think, let's uh, try this again. So you just pull in your cutter key again. Look like it's in line. Yep. Nice. Hopefully it's the same size. What? Hopefully that's the same size. There it you is. go. 30? Nice. The same thing, got one big washer, and then the whole thing should... Uh, oh, you got a bracket on there. Yep, a little plastic bracket. Yep. Looks like just one bolt. Yep. All right, so take that bracket off. It's 10 millimeter. Get that out of your way. Slide that out of the way. And then your grease tool. Probably gonna be a little. Oh, that was Not easier. Too bad. Yeah. A little easier than the rear. You'll either start seeing a little bit of grease or you'll see the race start moving. And that's when I would stop. Um, that's that, and then I 
slide that back on. Everything will just go in the opposite. The millimeter bolt up on top. Tighten up the nut. Put the cotter pin through it. Put the brake caliper back on. And it should be good to go. All right, so make sure you get this bolt back in. Tighten it down. You got your two 17 caliper bracket bolts. Get those in. Get your nut on, your washer, and your cotter pin. Make sure all that's tightened up. And you can go ahead and put a tire on. That tires look good. Yeah, it's gonna change the look of this machine for sure. So we'll go ahead and do a time lapse on the other side. And then what do we got, the air filter last? I got an air filter, a gasket, and what else? I think that's it. So we're going to change the air filter on this. Well, she got a few clips. Get your 30 clips out of the way. Spot. Uh, yeah. Pretty clean. Do you buzz all those aliens out of there? Yep. Gotcha. Let's see what we got going on here. So five mil. There's a, a washer here too, or a, like a spacer. They all have that? It seems like they have. Yep. Every one of them. That one's captured. It's uh, stuck in there. And so is that other. There's three of them that are captured here. Mm hmm. Left side. Which obviously we'll have to pop those out. Well, that shoe's due. Yeah, that shoe's due for a while. So we'll show all this going back together here in just a minute. All right, so the new filter already had the new bolts already in there. We didn't even have to pop them out of there. So that was kind of cool. New filter, ready to go. But you do, it does come with this gasket and this gasket. So this is going to be for this square, and this big one is going to be for the cover we took off. So I'm just going to take a pick, pop it out of there. This is your dirty side, and this is your clean air going in. So everything looks good there. Let's see. I've noticed putting push uh, putting different gaskets like this on. That if you were to just like start here and push it around, by the time you got over here, you got extra. So you're better off getting your corners 
mm -hmm. make most of your corners done, and then everything. And then do your straights. Yeah, then everything lays in pretty good. So then this is the big gasket. And then this comes back in here like this. I would say this is probably where you line up. Let's go get the big gun. I mean, I could. <laughs> probably, probably do good. We need Milwaukee to sponsor us if we're going to get that bad boy out, though. It is a pretty nice setup, though. For a stock filter system, you know? Yeah, it's pretty convenient. It's a lot of air going in. Yeah. Clips out of the way. And we gotta change this uh, other gasket here. I mean, that's nice and clean too. I mean, dirty, outside it's a little dirty, but. That's that. You just got your cover here. <clears throat> cover and your two clips. One thing I did want to mention is <clears throat> we went with the same size rims as factory. They are bead locks. If you try to go smaller, I don't think it'll work. But yeah, fourteens uh, look like they'd be real close, so we went with a we went with a fifteen on here. Yeah, everything's pretty tight there, but fifteen seems to look and fit good and uh, these are you know 31s overall I think the machine looks a lot better it's got the clearance it needs uh, we pulled it out the door barely had any clearance uh, to get out the door I had about a quarter inch but uh, it's like we planned it that way it worked out good make sure you uh, like share and subscribe uh, subscribing is the easiest way to help us you know bring more content to you uh, we got quite a few more videos to come. Uh, a lot of exciting things, so stick around. All right, Will from UTV Outlaws. Um, something that we're often talk about and are asked about is paddle tires out in the dunes so um, today we're going to go ahead and weigh some of our factory tires uh, keep in mind that the factory tires are relatively lightweight for being a dirt tire i mean once you start getting into bead locks and wider tires um, that's really when things you know escalate and weight so this is what is this a front yeah this is a front this is a front 29. big horn i mean you're looking at Let's call it 27 point... No, 37. Or 37 point 8. Yeah, 37 point 8 seems fair. It keeps moving around just a little bit. It's all right. 
So we're gonna jot all this stuff down on our list here, and we're just gonna show you guys, you know, exactly what you're looking at saving weight-wise. 